Hi, I'm going to show you how to take apart an iMac G3. Well, first of all, if you just want to get it to the memory, you take a long, flat object, insert it right here into this hole, turn it to the unlock position, and you open it up, and there's your memory. Otherwise, for the real disassembly, you're going to need said long, hard object. You're also going to need a Phillips screwdriver. Long one, it's fairly small. All right. First step is you grab your screwdriver and do these screws down here at the bottom by the stand. Hopes you turn the screwdriver the right way. Remember, if you set your screws aside, you're going to need them later, probably. Then you're going to take the long object, and there's this little door up here, up top. There's a little notch, you stick it in push it out, and this pops out, revealing not only a display adapter for an external monitor, if you want one, but also four more screws. So you go ahead and remove the screws. Four, four screws, you remove them, and then you slide, slide it so that the edge is slightly off, and then you remove the top edge, pull down on the bottom edge, being careful you don't nick the DVD drive or the speakers, and then you're presented with this. More screws. There should be a screw right here, which is not in mine. There's also a screw here and a screw here. Take this screw out. Set it aside. There's a screw over here. Carefully don't lose any. There. And then there's a couple up top. There and there. This little electromagnetic interference guard just lifts off from the bottom carefully. And make sure you don't take the little external video port up top. Set that aside too. And then, if you would like to get to your optical drive or your hard drive, there are four screws you take out one right here, right here, right here, and right here. It can be a bit of a pain. screwdriver didn't want to go in there. And then if you listen to them successfully, carefully pop out, careful with your optical drive. Then you want to remove two cables, actually there's three, two data, one for the hard drive, one for the optical drive, and then power, which can be a bit of a bugger to get out, just wiggle it around. And then you have your enclosure. To remove the hard drive, it's still quite simple. There's four screws. Come out. So you said them done. Don't lose them. And with that last one, your hard drive will just slide out. You can put in standard new one as long as it's IDE.
And then for the optical drive, I believe there's a screw here and a screw right over on the other side. Again, just a simple removal procedure. Looks like there's more screws. Oh yes, screw. There's also two other screws right here. And here. Then it sort of lifts out, maybe. Yep, lifts out, Oop. jostling. Then you just remove that from it if you want to put in a new one. Simple. And of course, to put it back together, reverse all that, right? Easy. See ya.